Next up, we have Anthropic. Anthropic released this new feature with their cloud models. And basically what they're providing here is a new way to generate production-ready prompts in the console itself. So they have a playground and you can go and use it and you can automatically do this prompt engineering. I like this idea of prompt generation because you know there's a lot of like best practices that actually go into building really good prompts and to actually scaling these models and making them more performance on the tasks that you're working on. So automating this process, I think it has a lot of really good use. And so I'm excited about this particular feature. And basically what they're saying is that they're using, you know, prompt engineering techniques like channel thought reasoning to create more effective, precise, and reliable prompts. Now, something interesting that grabbed my attention here is the use of chain of thought. We use chain of thought for all the use cases that we work on, pretty much all of them that we work with clients on. And, and, and this is how we improve these language models on a variety of tasks, whether it's health, where it's legal, any, any domain that we work on, we're either using some version of chain of thought or some variant of it in combination with some more advanced uh, prompting techniques. So that's interesting that they're using it for automating of prompt engineering. And they have some kind of uh, testimonial here and you can also try it. So I've actually tried it here. And if you go to their console, you can generate a prompt. You can see that it's saying the experimental prompt generator can turn a task description into a high quality prompt. For best results, be sure to describe your task in much detail as possible. So you're really just describing the task and what you expect as output and how it should be formatted. You are still doing a bit of prompt engineering in a way, but the heavy lifting is gonna be done by this um, automated tool, right? And so I think it could be useful. It can speed up the development of like your use cases. And that's the thing, right? When you're building an MVP, you want to like speed up or optimize some parts of it, some components of this process, right? And I think the prompt engineering actually takes a lot of work. This is why we actually teach, I do a lot of training about this and consulting because I do see that a lot of like engineers and developers struggle to really optimize your prompts and design really good prompts. Or there's always like some best practices that they're missing or something they're doing wrong and they're not getting the desired results. So the idea of automating this is really cool. And I really applaud Anthropic for releasing this and for us to try it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out, uh, summarize the document. These are kind of common tasks, but you can put or explain your own task as well. So I'm just gonna try this one. Say summarize documents into 10 bullet points max. So I'm gonna generate the prompt and then it goes into automating this prompt. I remember ChatGPT actually had a tool for this or some plugin for this where you know, I gave it some prompt and it automatically gave me or suggested or optimized my prompt. But usually the prompts that were optimized were not so great. There was a lot of like biases in those prompt designs. So that's something to keep in mind when you're using a tool like this, keep in mind that this particular tool is probably optimizing for the anthropic models, right? The cloud models, instead of, you know, in general, all the other models, right? The open source models and so forth. So that's kind of my assumption. I don't know if this is true, but let's just keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so you can see here, it gives you an actual prompt. It's a lot longer, right? And it's using these kind of variables, these kind of notations, right? I believe this is like XML, which is more particular to cloud models. And then it gives more specifics about the specific thing that we want, which is the 10 bullet points. And then it says here, present your final bullet point, summary inside, summary tags. So it's giving very specific details about what the prompt should look like and what the output is that you want from the large language model, right? So best practices are you want to provide, you know, a structured, very structured prompt. I can see that it actually nails that. You want to be as specific as possible. I didn't really read everything here, but it looks like it's actually capturing the main point, which is the 10 bullet points. And then it's also doing this extra bit, which is probably a suggestion or a more common way to do summarization. And it says, present your final bullet points somewhere inside, and then put them inside the summary tag. So you want to always structure things correctly. And, and I can see that's a good best practice. Anyway, so I'm gonna start editing here. And then you can see it takes us right into the playground. I can start to kind of test this, right? You can see here it has this variable. I guess if I run it, it asks me for that document. I can just, you know, paste a document. Actually, let me just take this one here. And this will be a better one to do. Copy this one and then paste it here. I'm going to run this. All right, so this is your prompt and then this is your response here. 
Okay, here we go. One, two, three. I notice the formatting is not so great here, but that's fine. Um, okay, so open is develop a new feature. Site sources in Israel. The feature will allow. Okay, some versions may include relevant open is under pressure to expand. Yeah, there has been speculation about open search plans. Okay, ChatGPT can only pull results or certain queries for paying users, but the feature is limited and can have hiccups. Open is declined to comment on the details of the search. It looks pretty good, actually, and I could understand what this news is about based on this summary. But you can get more specific, right? Like it doesn't end here. Now that you have something to work with, you can keep optimizing, and that's how I would use it. And this is how we actually optimize. You keep iterating on your prompt. You know, be more specific about how you want it. Maybe I don't want it this way. Maybe I want longer sentences. That's something that you would add to the prompt itself. So just some tips there.